Hi, I'm David Cooper from E Pianos and Whitney Bay Organs. And today I've got to show you a Hammond XT100. It's one of the later Hammonds, and being that it's very digital, so you have lots of presets that you can bring up from these pistons. The screen is very clear to choose what you want, and it has the traditional uh, Hammond sort of drums that are in a lot of their models. They're pretty, I wouldn't say basic, but they're not quite so digital drums. They're much more what we're familiar with with the traditional organ. So we've got a a drum section here we can bring in and it has the the well-known Hammond auto vary you can bring in one of four variations and there's an auto vary to bring in uh, an automatic variation every one bar or four bars or eight bars depending on when you want to vary it and these are your auto bass accompaniment so we can bring in one finger chords we can bring in three finger chords or we can play the bass ourselves rather than let it play them for us so I'm going to show you some presets that I've found already if you go into the um, the menu section we have some presets that we can go into. And here we've got theatre, pop, easy listening. And I've put some into uh, one called DC, but there's also one called theatre I want to show you. So if we go to the theatre one first, and then we go into play mode, and that means that all these pistons down here now will all have the theatre organ sounds in them. And uh, I've got a couple to show you. Number seven I particularly like. Let me just turn up all this automatic bass for a minute so I can show you play the bass pedals too. through the video. If we go to some of my sounds I've been making up on here, we'll go back to the menu again, we'll go into the presets and this time I'm going to go into DC and then we just go back to play again and then we've got a variation of sounds that I've made. The first ones are the sort of typical sort of Hammond sound with the sort of effect of the, the attack. So let's put on a bossa nova rhythm. Thank you. 
drawbar section here. And we can make up our own drawbar settings from a, a full set. We've got the, um, the set of drawbars, which include pure drawbars, which are the 16, 8 foot, 4 foot, 2 foot, and 1 foot. And they're the ones that make these very pure sounds. So if we just give you an example, if I put them all in for a second, let's turn them all off. So I've got my 16 foot, my 8 foot, 4 foot, 2 foot, and a 1 foot. Now these drawbars are all exactly one octave apart. So if I was to play my 16 foot up high, I'm going to half the number to an 8, and that will be exactly an octave lower, the same pitch. I'm going to half it again to a 4, and that's exactly the same pitch. So when I play the three together, we're playing three octaves from one note, or four octaves, or five octaves, and that's what gives us that beautiful, rich sound. Now when we bring these intermediate um, ones with fractions on, they're going to not give us the same note. So all these are giving us the same note. If I play a C note, they're all going to give me an octave apart. But if we wanted to go to, let's play this eight foot one here, and then I bring in a five and a third, it's bringing in, it's bringing a G note in. So it's going to make us a much fuller sound because it's adding all the in-between notes. So if I play a chord, I'm bringing them all in. It sounds a little bit discordant when you add them, but when you play the chords together then... You get a much richer sound because all these in-between notes are making it a, a harmonic amazement. When we go back to just the, the pure ones again, let's just go to 16 and 2. It's a much purer sound, but with fractions... So we can make our own combinations with this Leslie speaker effect on. And now until it goes straight. And with the Leslie effect we get this lovely shimmering warm rotary sound. together let's go to 16 and 2 let's go 16 and 4 really lovely beautiful sounds just from the flutes alone but we've got lots of other sounds too and I found a few that I've preset in here for you number six is my um well, that's actually another series now trumpets number seven now I put the trumpet with a I put a trumpet into the bass as well so we've now got uh, that's a trombone in the bass so
ಮನುಷ್ಯ ಅಂತ So the instruments are really good in here. So we've got a really good set of draw bars that we can use for the upper keyboard, the lower keyboard and the bass pedals. Really good drum section. We'll just go through some more of the drums. If we go into um let's have a look boss and over here. Now these are our four variations. The A very simple backing. B more high hats coming in. C and D got two fillings we can bring in number 1 that's good and number 2 and i can bring the fillings on my foot on the right hand foot as a switch and it just brings it in by tapping my foot to the right these are my auto bass accompaniments so i can play my chord auto bass backings in these are arpeggios we can bring in okay so we've got a, a touch tempo we can tap our beats and that will give us the, the speed that we want when we've got in our mind to play something so this is our panel our vibrato and our Leslie speaker effects our backings intros and endings are built in there too we've got um auto vary for the drums there's lots of drum variations these are our solo instruments and then we can decide what sections we want on together and finally on the screen here it's very good because it shows us all the time what is selected this has got our orchestral voice our solo instruments uh, our orchestral strings if they're on we've got a vibraphone on there look and then we've got some more strings our pedal voices so we can see everything we want to adjust and these are all the volumes we can bring the the volumes in for any that we want to adjust just at the touch of a button so very very easy just to go in and and change something to suit what we want to auto bass on this way so we can um go through and change it but very very easy and then our draw bar selection we can cut the draw bars in or out bring the bass voices in we can even put the lower voice to the pedals and then we've got our midi and we've got a recording on down here that we can just record a song and it'll play it straight back to us so a nice big set up nice lovely cover that comes down this is the Hammond XT100 and it's a beautiful instrument ask us any questions by email check out our website epianos.co.uk for more information if you want to ask any questions and i'm david from epianos nice to see you